Wow. I'm live. How cool is that? Am I live? I am live. Wow, that's, that's a pretty long lag, though. <laughs> wow. T-shirts on. It's only whiskey if it's shared. Ah, hi Roy, how are you? This is very, very unnerving. Thank you for watching. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah, wow. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, this is, yeah. Yeah, when are you going to do official merch, Roy? Yes, I will open it right now for you. Right. I just hit the glass over. Evidence. There it is. Lovely bottle. Thank you very much, uh, Ralphie and Roy. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm really, really giddy about it, you know? Uh, super excited. I've been excited all day. 50 subscribers is a fantastic thing for me to achieve, I think. Uh, I literally know barely anything about whiskey uh, i am on a journey and yeah this is just the next stage next step in my journey and i'm i'm gonna crack it open because i want to i've wanted to since the weekend but i thought i'd save it slightly i can't get into it i can't get into it oh god this is embarrassing It'll teach me to bite my nails, won't it? <laughs> Done. Glen Alecky, twelve year old. I'm sure it is very, very nice. Let's get a pouring. There we go. I usually um, say every last drop when I'm pouring, um, but uh, obviously I'm not going to um, because there's a whole bottle there, which is just silly, just silly. Um, but here it is. Lovely bit of color on it. Obviously, uh, being Roy, uh, uh, being Ralphie at the moment, uh, it is natural color, non chill filtered. Glen Allocky 12. I haven't really got any tasting notes. I've sort of rushed to do this live stream. I'm on my laptop with a really strange little tiny camera on there, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, yes, Roy, I will share that with my dad. Um, but he's not here at the moment, but he will be getting quite a lot of this, I'd imagine. I've already sent him a couple of samples of some other whiskies I've got. Yeah, yeah, tasting notes wise, all I've got is the back of the box. So, but I'm sure uh, you can go and watch Ralphie's review and every other body's review of this um, rather than the noob. Very unnerving, Roy. I tell you, it's live. It's just a completely different ball game, isn't it? It's so bizarre. I've got, I've got my iPad set up over here, uh, just so I know that it is going live, and that's sort of 
slightly delayed, which is a bit weird, and I keep catching my hands out the back sort of side of my thing. Uh, so, yeah, about myself in whiskey. I think... <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll be on Skype. Um, how I got into whiskey is probably related to my father-in-law. Um, unfortunately, he passed away from uh, mesothelemia, uh, which is asbestos-related cancer in the lungs. Uh, but he was a big whiskey nut. And I remember doing... I like to research everything. Uh, lots and lots of little things, you know, holidays. Uh, I will know... Google Maps is like one of my best things. You know, I know exactly what street I'm going to walk down before I get there. Um, even though, you know, take that excitement out of, of being there. Um, but I ended up researching loads, and I think we bought him a Lafroy. I think it was quarter cask. Can't remember fully. Um, but after researching that, it was just like a case of, well, I, I should probably try all these different things. Um, and that's, yeah, I end up started, you know, drinking different whiskeys. I can't honestly remember which one I tried first. I don't think I tried Lafourig first. That would have been a bit crazy. I think it was like Glen Fittich or Glen Morangi. Um, they were really, really nice. Um, we're pretty pretty standard now, you know, from my journey into whiskey so far. Um, it's been it's been pretty good. Um, and, yeah, just next steps. Sort of, yeah, just slowly going into it. And then I just feel like um, it was a case of, one, something to do, if that doesn't sound too bad, but... Because I was going on this journey, I really felt that YouTube, and I started watching a lot of YouTubers um, sort of mid last year. So uh, Casey Neistat, um, Peter McKinnon, all that sort of thing, uh, all those sort of guys. Um, and then, yeah, just sort of thought, well, I can give that a go. So I've, yeah, decided to give it a go. Just yeah putting my thoughts out there on whiskey um i do have a few you know brain things going um with trying to think of different things for youtube and um, i'm quite happy to do reviews um but i am starting out on a journey so yeah yeah sharing the journey roy yeah and a I want to do something different, um, which is probably why I've done quite a few cognacs as well. Um, I'd really like to go try different things. So that's why one of the things um, I wanted to do was why try rye. So I feel that rye in the UK is not particularly well known. Uh, I've talked to quite a few people at work. Um, quite a few students. I work at Sussex University or University of Sussex, and that, um, yeah, talking to them, they don't, they don't. It's not a a known thing. I think a lot of um, youth don't get into whiskey at all, um, and when they do, it's it's Jack Daniels and Coke, um, which is not bad. Um, but, yeah, I think there's definitely a market, well, not a market, but I would like to try and promote whiskey youth. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Um, hi, Greg, how are you? Uh, just seen you pop up there. Thank you very much uh, for the congratulations. Um, brilliant. Thanks. Yeah, thanks to you for on um, Why Try Rye. That was really, really good. <laughs> Got to evangelize? Okay, yeah, we'll do, yeah. <laughs> well, this is the thing. I've been talking to um, a few guys um, 
we do Sussex Racing Team, um, where the students actually build a a car from scratch. So they make, uh, they design uh, the fr frame, brakes, brake discs, not so much the pads, but um, uprights, all parts of the car, then they stick an engine in it and so forth. And we're talking to those guys. And uh, I mean, they're, I think, from their point of view, the marketing um, sort of is not really aimed at them, but then they like some of the, like the names of whiskey. And um, so one they've got at the moment is in their heads that they keep banging on about is Hanky Bannister. Now I do agree, it does sound a bit weird. Um, sort of like frapping, it's that still can't get right my head around that one, but um, I know it's frappin. Uh, excuse my French, Greg. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think funkier names might help. I don't know. But love to hear everybody's thoughts on that. But I am now going to taste this because it's been sitting here for a while now. Lovely. Do I get sugary nose? Butterscotch and honey. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm actually getting... Maybe some vinegar. I've been cooking vinegar. <laughs> I've been doing my lunch for tomorrow. So I've been um, cooking off some liver and then, yeah, just um, deglazing the pan with some uh, balsamic. Um, so I'm getting that. I should probably left the extract fan on a bit longer. lovely that is very very nice i'm gonna have another sip of that because that's good mm. yeah good thank you very much really really nice thank you i re so surprising to get that honestly was so surprised uh yeah it sort of, um, oh, I can't, I still can't think of the word. Um, yeah, I can't think of the word. Emphasis, not emphasized. It made me think that I was destined to do um, <laughs> YouTube. When I got it, almost like a, a, a handing over of the torch, but that's not right. But you know what I mean. It, it felt like it felt like that was gonna gonna happen uh, once I got it. Congrats from Ralphie.com and Roy. Beautiful, lovely, yes, affirmation, Roy. Yes, affirmation. Yes. It affirmed my belief in doing YouTube whiskey, things like that. I was watching live, Roy, yeah. Yeah, I was there. I was watching. Yeah, I, I commented um, um, when I heard my name, and it was just like, oh, my God. It was unbelievable. <laughs> um, but, yeah, really, it's good uh anything else about myself uh i live in brighton um i work at the university of sussex i'm a mechanical technician in the central workshop so i do a lot of stuff for various research projects 
and the Formula Student car. Um, yeah, it's quite a varied, exciting things. Um, I make lots of different parts. Uh, different materials ranging from titanium um, to bamboo, which is bizarre. Um, but really varied and really, really cool. I'm holding up my challenge coin. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, hold on. <coughs> that is not professional, is it? Disappearing from screen. That's not cool. Hey, my coin was in the room. Uh, in fact, I've got a no nonsense one. Thanks, Vin. And I've got these, or one of these. Who would like one of these? You see my eye. <laughs> I made these at work. They're just aluminium, but um, last drop symbol. Thought they were pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to do a load because uh, I will be coming up to Glasgow on the 18th, um, which is cool. Hmm. Mm, nice. Um, yeah, these are quite interesting. Well, not interesting, but um, I'll probably tell you more about it when I'm up there if we get to chat at all. Um, I will give you one when I'm there. Uh, yeah, a wire roaded, um, which is quite cool, and um, just like a cheese wire that cuts out metal. But I can do it to sub micron tolerance and stuff like that. Really, really interesting, but pretty cool. So yeah, they are slightly smaller though, but they do fit perfectly on a green can. Absolutely perfectly. As you can see. Spot on the right diameter of some somehow, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So anything else? Any questions? Give me a question. Come on, Greg. Come on, Roy. <laughs> yeah, I should make them um, forty nine mil. Um, they're only slightly small, as you can see. I mean, you're talking a millimeter. Um. Oh, cool. Well, thanks, Roy. Uh, thanks for popping in. That was really, really appreciate your support. Um, thank you again. T-shirts, lovely. One of these will be with you in um, Glasgow. Uh, my flight is booked, and my hotel is booked, so I'm definitely coming. Which is. Awesome, really excited, and it's my birthday weekend. Oh, yes. Greg, if you uh, email me your address, I will send you on in the post. Because been extremely supportive and I want to thank you personally for it. I might do you a little note. It's been quite warm now. Got three people watching which is really nice. That's not what I was expecting.
Hang on. Will aluminium get through the post? It's aluminium. It's aluminium. It should get through the post, shouldn't it? So, in France, what are they going to do? Probably strike about it, I imagine. Below the belt, Greg? Below the belt? No, no. Depends on the postal service, doesn't it? <laughs> Facebook group for the Glasgow Gathering. Yes, I've got. I'm on the um, Glasgow Gathering. I think we're going to a, a 10 a.m. tasting at Clydesdale on the Sunday. Should be cool. Um, I know Rolf's. Um, yeah, bought like four or five tickets so far. Um, and then yeah, just going to pay him when we get there. I think so, which is really nice of him. Um, what a you know great community that we're in. Um, I'd still say mm. what link? Oh, right, yeah, no, that link's not showing, so. <laughs> Thanks, Roy. Um, good luck with putting your kid to bed. Uh, my wife's doing mine at the moment, so, uh, yeah, slant you. See you later. <laughs> ah, cool. Thanks for your address, uh, Greg. I will get that off to you as soon as I can. Do you want it painted? I got some paint. I might spray paint them. What do you think about that? Any favorite color that we've got in the cupboard at work that I can steal? <laughs> some water. Blue or copper, I will give it a go. I think there's an old can of velvet blue in the cupboard. Um, I'll give it a go for you. Can't promise anything, but uh, it should be all right. <laughs> oh, this, yeah. This has gone all right. Quite pleased. Um, I thought I'd mentioned before, so I've done a little bit about me. I've done a, a few Q&A. Um, I was going to do... Um, uh, future plans, which I'll do last because obviously that's a bit, you know, a uh, thing. But I just wanted to show you what whiskey I have. Um, going on, uh, lots of delay and refreshing needed scene for this live. Don't know why. Oh, okay, um, yeah, Roy seems to think the audio and and thing uh thing visual uh seemed okay and um, i might stop my tablet um just in case i'm using up bandwidth or something like that um so let's get rid of that there we go so that should drop down there's youtube cool so hopefully that's better is that any good, Greg? Who knows? But yeah, I wanted to show you my journey so far in the fact that I've got my collection at the moment of whiskey. Um, so obviously I've got the Glen Alecky 12, which is very nice, um, which is obviously quite special. Um <coughs> There we go. Lots of bottles of whiskey. Not too many though. And um, I've got this Cuddy Sark blended Scotch whiskey. Um, a litre bottle because I picked it up in the duty free at the weekend. 
Um, it's actually really nice. I got it for 17 euros, I think, for a litre. Um, <clears throat> I'm quite, you know, skin flint when it comes to buying whiskey. And I don't like buying it at full price, um, which is, you know, what some people do. Um, but, I, you know, I'm on a budget and I can't afford... Well, I can't... I, I could probably buy whiskies of a higher price but uh, sometimes I just can't justify it um which is good and bad I don't know and with that I end up with sort of cheaper stuff but I've got this uh, a bracken let's see that uh, this is a blended malt scotch whiskey um it's from Clydesdale, so be interesting to uh, yeah see what comes out of um, Clydesdale when I go up there um, in in May. Um, but again, seventeen pounds, really really nice. Um, oak matured, I think it's like three barrels as well. Yeah, American bourbon, Spanish or also cherry uh, sherry butts and Portuguese tawny port. So, triple wood, lovely. For 17 quid, you can't really go wrong. Ah, high prestige liquids. Nice for you to join me. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning from Sydney. Um, not sure whereabouts you are in uh, Sydney. Uh, I have been to Sydney. It's a fantastic city. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I think it was nine years ago now in may actually um so that was really cool um went up on the bridge that was nice and on the zoo tongaruga zoo tongaroga tongaroga i think um yeah great um stayed with some friends out in uh, rouse hill which i think there's some big pub there it's the big pub. Do you remember what the big pub's called? My wife's sitting in a dark corner of the room over there. <laughs> no? Not remember? Yeah. I want to say rod and gum, but that's Canada. I can't remember. <laughs> um... Next week I have is Jim Beam Single Barrel. This is actually really, really nice. 47.5%. Um, special on Amazon. So again, looking for cheap stuff. And Bullet Rye. Yes, the Mean Fiddler. That's it, wasn't it? Yes, Mean Fiddler. She said yes. So The Mean Fiddler. That's it. Yeah, my friend's always there, so which is cool. Um, yeah, Bullet Rye, which is why I try rye, um, which is why I got it. Why I got this rye that's called Bullet Rye. It's very nice. I like that spicy hit on the on the you know coming up straight in your mouth, um, which is really really good. Still got some more in this. So yeah, that's my whiskey journey at the moment. That's what I've got on the go. Um, I think a lot of, I watch a lot of other YouTubers, um, especially whiskey ones, uh, and especially um, even like Greg, uh, you've got like a hundred, loads of whiskeys like on shelves uh, and bookcases of the stuff. Um, all open and you see ralphie's little thing and i'm sure he's got more whiskey elsewhere um i sort of have limited space uh i could probably i should put shelves up i could put shelves up here um but i haven't <laughs> um but yeah i sort of end up having two or three stroke four at the moment 
Um, and it suits me because I sort of end up with several different styles of whiskey. Um, so I always have a bourbon. I normally have Buffalo Trace on the go um, because that's really, really good. The party sauce. Hi, party sauce. Um, what is what? This. Glen Alecky, 12-year-old, um, signed by Ralphie.com that I won uh, in a uh, live stream on uh, Aqua Vitae's channel. Um, it's it's really good, actually. Um, do you want to hear the tasting notes? Uh, butterscotch and honey uh, playing the lead with raisins and mocha in the background on the nose. Taste is honey, marzipan, and bananas with lashings of butterscotch, raisin, and delicate hint of mocha. But yeah, that's it's really nice. Um, it's non chill filtered, it's natural colored, it's a great little, uh, great little dram. Not sure I'm getting bananas. Um, I hate bananas. Um, so I, if I taste them, I, I don't know, but that's cool. What region? Oh, sorry, it's the space side. Um, yeah. From the Valley of the Rocks, it says on there. Uh, I haven't actually researched too much in it. I probably will do a separate review. Um, so obviously watch out for that. Uh, in due course but you know uh, Ralph is on there and he's be all and all of guru knowledge but I think everybody's subjective opinion helps and from a new person's point of view I think it's a very good whiskey um, which is good I do like a few spays I've, saying that I think I've pretty much only got I mean these are blends but um, see, this is uh, Clydesdale, which is uh, a bracken. I'm just about to see in the light there. Uh, this is a cheap um, 17 pound whiskey from Lidl's, um, which is a German um, cheap supermarket. Um, but really, really good. Um, Clydesdale is in Glasgow, so, you know, that's really nice. Okay. Is that Lowland or Highland? Greg, Lowland or Highland is that? It's not Highland. Hmm. But yeah, it, Glasgow, so that's really nice. Uh, I've then got Cuddy Sark, which is really, really good. Oh, sorry, the, the Abracken, Greg. The, the Abracken from Clydesdale in Glasgow. Does, it, does that count? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's Glasgow. But does that count as a lowland or a highland? Because Ockentushin's there, isn't it? Yeah, lowland. So, yeah, so that's a lowland. Uh, I've got Cutty Sark, which is a blend, uh, which I got for 17 euros uh, in the duty free, uh, which is really nice, light, floral, um, very, very drinkable, very, very nice. For 17 euros for a litre as well, so that's really good. Um, I've also then got Bullet Rye, um, so why try rye? Uh, that's the bottle I got, and I've got Jim Beam single barrel. So I hope that quenches your thirst, party sauce. Uh, I'm not sure who it is at a party sauce. <laughs> Yeah, Gillian Anarchy 12 as well. Lovely. I hope you'll try someday the Cuddy Sark 25 year old. It's great. Yeah, yeah, cool. Oh, hey, J.O. Yeah, Cuddy Sark 25. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be well up for. I'm looking. 
now I've tried it, obviously you look at different variations, don't you? So you're looking at different um, uh, sort of different ones from the same distillers. So this Glen, Glen Allocky 12, I will now be looking at other Glen Allocky's um, to, you know, obviously see what they're like, see if there's anything different, see something that takes my fancy a bit better than... You know, I'd imagine, again, I haven't researched too much into it, but uh, a 12-year-old, I'd imagine they do a 15, 18, 21. Um, but I think that's coming back to... Um, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get to that in a minute, Greg. But I think one of those things with all these non-age statement whiskies as well is they're looking for something different that might spark interest in maybe call range or might just you know find a flavor profile that really really is distinctive really distinctive all right ah, scotch for dummies thank you for coming um Really appreciate it. Thank you for the congratulations. Uh, Greg, back to you. Cognac show is on Friday. Um, so that's in two days' time. Um, really, really looking forward to it. Um, I've had a few cognacs. Um, if you have obviously seen a few of my videos, um, if you're watching on replay, please go and check them out. Um, cognac, I feel, is something up and coming maybe but needs to you know needs a bit of a push and i think whiskey exchange are doing that uh, with the cognac show this year and last year um the, the ones i've tried so far have been really really good the big big boys you know the big players so hennessy uh, Martel, uh, Remy Martin, and the other one. What's the other one? I can't remember. Oh, well, here it comes to me. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you, Body Source. They are deaf or J.O., sorry. They, they are definitely um, <coughs> getting bigger and bigger, Cognac. Cognac definitely, I think, is really should be exploding. Um, Frappin, I don't, I wouldn't consider them one of the big four. I say like big four, it's almost like the, um, yeah, big five, you see Krug Park, isn't it? <laughs> Lions and tigers, and not tigers, what, tigers? Uh, elephants, uh, is it leopards? I can't remember what the big five are, so a rhinoceros, hippos. Um, Remy Martin, Hennessy, Martel. I've tried it as well, I've reviewed it. Corvassier, how could you forget Corvassier? Unbelievable. <laughs> um, Hein, yeah. See, Greg, in the UK, I don't consider Hein or Frappin um, a big player. Um, Frappin, definitely not. Um, and, uh, yeah, Hein, maybe just underneath, but... Um, yeah, Frappe, I definitely don't think is a big, a big cognac. I, I, I couldn't go to a pub and ask for a Frappe cognac. That's how, but, but I could go ask for a Martel, a Remy Martel, a Hennessy mainly. Uh, and a lot of pubs are just Hennessy VS as well, which is really sort of disappointing. I mean, a lot of them have, have a really good range of whiskies now, um, especially here in Brighton. Um, there's a few pubs around them which are really good. But... Um, Cognacs, not so much. If you, you struggle to get a VSOP, 
um, which is quite disappointing. But yeah, really looking forward to um, Frappe for me is not. That's okay. Yeah, uh, Mukau, um, Mukau. I don't even know if it's Mukau or not. <laughs> I love their names. There's a there's a Fanny one as well, which is funny. If you're in the UK, um, please go on the Cognac Show web, uh, website and have a look at the list. There's so many there, absolutely loads. Um, Frappe for me, Greg, um, is one of the most is out. You know, not outstanding, but um, really, really good. Um, I like the VSOP. It was great orange notes on it. Uh, and I really do like um, the, yeah, the orange notes on it. Really nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Mucau. Mucau? I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but um, yeah, that's. They are definitely at the Cognac show. I probably will be trying them as well. Uh, again, there is, I think there's 150 different cognacs there. I really don't know. I managed managed to get eight down me. I imagine before I'm plastered, but um, you know, I try and have. I might take some oat cakes or something like that just to put in the palate and stuff. <laughs> um so yeah that's that's really good i'm really looking forward to that or we'll be filming i have permission to film um like greg said uh vin pf from no nonsense whiskey will be there as well i'm not too sure uh i will if i can live stream i will try and do it on uh instagram uh, try and do a few little lives on there. Uh, not sure what the Wi-Fi is going to be like, etc., etc. Uh, I will do my best, um, but I will be filming. I will do a whole video um, and do like some little reviews. Try and get some decent info off of the reps and so forth. Uh, yeah, and then yeah, a little chinwag with Vin of um, No Nonsense Whiskey. Not too sure. I think possibly other YouTubers have been uh it uh, have been invited um so i'm sort of expecting jason whiskey wise there as he's in london um uh, but i can't be 100 percent sure on that um but yeah i'm really looking forward to it should be a good day i think it's gonna be raining which is rubbish but it's london um but yeah that's gonna be good oh instagram account uh it is something last drop review last drop reviews yeah let's have a look <laughs> that's embarrassing yeah the last drop reviews i'm on there i normally do little video snips little short reviews on my instagram account um it's a bit different from the usual um taking a picture of whiskey in a nice uh, bit of bracken or bit of woods or on a rock which is lovely <laughs> but yeah the last rock ride along views cool so yeah so cognac show and then in may so may 18th uh you're probably all aware if not um scott's test dummies will be in the uk uh they're off to waterford uh, distillery uh, just south of dublin uh, for a tour there first uh i think they're coming over 12th of may i think i saw in their video today and then they are heading to glasgow for the weekend so roy is going to pick them up uh on the friday and then take them back on the sunday i believe um so that's gonna be really cool i'm still not 100 percent sure um whether i will be at the tasting on the saturday afternoon uh, i'm on the waiting list um depends if somebody drops out uh, i'm not too sure uh, hopefully they will 
and we'll have to wait and see. Um, and then I think uh, we've been uh, uh, going to try and do some a uh, distillery tour on the Saturday, uh, on, the, on the Sunday. Um, otherwise, I will be. Uh, No, oh, okay. Sorry, Greg. Hopefully it's all right. It seems to be okay. Um, sorry. But yeah, uh, I will be uh, in yeah in Glasgow on the 18th to meet the Scottish Test Dummies. Uh, I'm sure, I think Vinzo again. Um, he's going to think I'm stalking him. Uh, and... Yeah, it should be fun. Meet the Scottish Test Dummies. Uh, I've done a weird little ode to Bart at the beginning of my Wi-Fi Arrive video. Hopefully he's not going to hit me for that or anything like that. <laughs> but that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that should be a good good little weekend. Nice little easy jet flight up and back down. Should be okay, hopefully. Uh, fly back quite late on the Sunday, I think. Um, yeah, what are you, what are you saying? Uh, Andy, isn't it? Prestige Liquids, yeah, Andrew. Or Andrew? Andy? Andrew? Andrew. Memory is not cool. <laughs> Marta, Cordon Bleu, I haven't tried it yet. Um, but I hopefully I, I see i don't know how many i'm going to be able to try martel will always have a special heart a uh, place in my heart um because it was the first vsop cognac i had or the first cognac i had uh, and the red barrel yeah really nice i really like that one um out of the bigger manufacturers of, of cognac uh andrew yeah cool <laughs> i did remember that was good i should remember that because that's my middle name <laughs> um but yeah martel yeah the red barrel nice um so yeah i probably will try them all their range but that's cool well i think i that's what i'm going to be doing uh i think there's going to be a whiskey show i mean with the whiskey exchange we'll do the whiskey show uh in september october i believe um so i no doubt i will go to that as well uh, I'm hoping to get another tasting in. Uh, there's a guy that comes down, David. He used to work at um, Colila, um, Colila, Colila, and he usually does um, some tastings down at a uh, pub we know uh, down in Brighton. Uh, hopefully, he's going to come, and hopefully, I'll be able to go to that. Took my dad last time. Got him well back into whiskey. Um, He's going to be trying this with me soon. Um, yeah, so a few things on the horizon. This month's busy. Friday cognac show, and then, yeah, uh, up to Glasgow, uh, which is going to be some good fun. And hopefully try some different whiskies. I'm hoping that people are going to push different things on me rather than stuff that, you know, is out there that's, you know, that we all know is good. So I'm, I'm talking like uh, Deanston, Springbank, uh, Long Row. Uh, yeah, those sort of things. You know, the ones that pop up quite a lot, um, but people are... Not pushing, but seem to be on everybody's list, especially in the UK. Um, yes, I'm looking forward to trying some new things, which is really, really good and exciting. Really exciting. But yeah, I think that's going to be it. I've been banging on for nearly 50 minutes. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for coming. I'm wrapping it up now anyway. Um, thanks for, yeah, 
check out my reviews and other bits and pieces. I'm going to try to do more different things rather than just reviews, but whiskey, drink related, um, more why try stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to do why try cognac. That's next on my list, I think. Um, even though I don't have any cognacs on there, which is I'm sort of waking, waiting for Friday. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Greg, for your support again. Thank you, Roy, for uh, bouncing in at the start. Brilliant. Thank you very much again for the whiskey. Thank you, Ralphie, for signing the bottle. It was a pleasure. It's a very nice whiskey. I'm going to finish this. And if you're interested in one of these, let me know. I'll see what I can do. Uh, that was the last drop. End 